This episode is sponsored by Skechers, the comfort technology company. I have a seven-year-old son, and the biggest mountain I climb every day is trying to put shoes on this child. And I'm so grateful to Skechers for supporting this podcast, but also for making the only shoes my son will willingly put on by himself. Their slip-ons are amazing. Thank you, Skechers, for everything. And you can find Skechers everywhere. Skechers.com, a Skechers store, or wherever stylish footwear is sold. When you think about businesses that are selling through the roof, sure, you think about a great product, a cool brand, and brilliant marketing. But an often overlooked secret is actually the businesses behind the business making selling simple. For millions of businesses, that business is Shopify. Nobody does selling better than Shopify. They're the home of the number one checkout on the planet. And the not-so-secret, ShopPay, that boosts conversions up to 50%, meaning way less carts going abandoned and way more sales happening. So if you're into growing your business, your commerce platform better be ready to sell wherever your customers are scrolling or strolling, on the web, in your store, in their feed, and everywhere in between. Businesses that sell more, sell on Shopify. Upgrade your business and get the same checkout Allbirds and Skims use. Sign up for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash start selling, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash start selling to upgrade your selling today. Shopify.com slash start selling. I love when motherfuckers ask me like difficult shit because I, 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 man, I don't give a fuck what comes out my mouth. You know yeah. As long as it's the truth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't try to sugarcoat no shit, you know what I'm saying? And it's great because, because I don't give a fuck about a lot of shit. That's a great way to live your life when you truly disconnect from giving a fuck what people think about you. Yeah. It's it's awesome. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows me as Vinny the ICP kid. I walk through halls every day with my pants off my ass, my pants sagging with all my t-shirts. I have enough t-shirts to go like a month and a half, two months without repeating the same one. Juggalos, I know through just pop culture, like the following that they have. And they're pretty unique in their fandom because they're not a mainstream band. You know, it's like they're not like a top 40s. It's not like they have a hit, you know, that everyone knows about. But I know their fans and I know their following um, is devout. You know, they'll, you know I, know, I know of The Gathering. I've seen a couple documentaries about that. It's the motherfucking gathering of the Juggalos. I know them more as just this, this pop culture phenomenon that's beyond just musicians, for sure. Hey, Carlos, have you ever heard of a band called Insane Clown Posse? Mm-hmm, no. no. Richie, do you know them? Yeah, I know them. I've seen the documentaries. Really? The Juggalos. Yeah, they're Defin- bonkers. Definitely mythical. Yeah, mythical. do you know of them? <laughs> kind of legendary. Yeah, like I forgot it's a real person. You know, yeah. it's it's kind of it's like saying that like Shrek is coming in or something. Yeah. You know, like like oh, I forgot that you're a real life person, not just created by Pixar. When I heard that it might be a possibility to sit down with you, you're such an enigma in pop culture that I, I forgot that you're an actual person. You know, I was like, wait, you can interview that guy? Like, you could actually yeah. tattoo that guy? You know what's crazy? Like, uh, the opposite spectrum, or yeah. uh, opposite flip coin, whatever the fuck it's called, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, I feel the exact opposite way. I just feel like I'm such a normal motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, who the fuck am I? You know what yeah. I'm saying? I just chill, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's crazy, you know? I mean, you guys have definitely built a, a following in a, in a unique way. You know, I feel like like your fan base is unlike any other band's fan base. You guys are almost like a religion. The crazy part is we never set out to do that. All that happened I mean, that's organically, what I was like, was that you know what I'm saying? Deliberate, like do you? No, like, do none you, of it was. We didn't even come up with the name juggle. We didn't come up with that. But do you guys I see? I don't know who the fuck came up with it. <laughs> it just happened. You know what I'm saying? We were never yeah. like, yo, you listen to our records, you're juggalos. Yeah. We, we suspect that we used to have a song called The Juggler and right. just talk, you know, that maybe stem from that. But we don't we don't even know how to fuck 
that happened. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is crazy, you know? Yeah. But but yeah, it's 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 just like um it's not some whole other shit, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's now got to the point where we were just talking about this last night, where we could dip out. Yeah. And it's that's still gonna keep going. I guess it's <laughs> you know like Grateful Dead has like a similar thought. I mean, do you guys ever get paired to them as far as it's comparable to that, but it's not that. You know, yeah. I think it's way more deeper than just, you yeah. know, just the music. Because Deadheads are just about the music, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Juggalo is way past just the music. Like I said, ICP doesn't even run Juggalo shit no more. It's yeah. just like we're just background music for it now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, you know, like we could totally just dip out. You know what I'm saying? Or stop doing the shit. And us stopping is not going to stop that movement. You know what yeah. I'm saying? How you guys didn't try to create this rags to riches narrative that I feel like so many, you know, like other rappers and stuff who came from you know, from a low place or like, yeah, but like now I'm balling, right. you know, you guys are like, no, no, like we're still this and we're still like right, yeah. a part of it. And yeah, I, no I think it's really beautiful. And, um, yeah, we, but don't, you we guys, don't do that shit. Yeah. And I think that was the connection too, yeah. because we're scrubs, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Through and through, you know what I mean? And that's what we've always represented. And the average motherfucker don't, they're not out there clubbing with on their fucking money phones, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And fucking in strip club, fucking making it rain all over. They're just a motherfucker struggling. You but know what I'm saying? Like, I think, Waking up, going to a shitty ass job, trying to fucking pay their bills, wearing fucking busted up shoes, and you know, and that's what we yeah. always represented. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We weren't about pulling up in a Lamborghini. We we're about pulling up in a fucking busted up fucking Skylark. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> From the 70s. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Door falls off when you get out. You know, like we're the, we're the real fucking struggle. And I think that's what a lot of in our humor. I think in our music too. It's just. It's just average motherfuckers, you know, it's yeah. so relatable because we were shit poor, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, we never rapped about how much money we had. We rapped about beating up rich kids. Yeah. <laughs> you know what but that's what I mean, like that loyalty. Because that's what we were doing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and yeah, so I think, I think like, it's the average motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? That is like, holy shit, man, I relate with what the fuck they're saying, yeah. you know? No, or what they're that, going through, you know? It's easy for us to relate because we also are juggalos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not like I'm not up in my skybox looking down on motherfuckers. I'm down there with the motherfuckers, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I am them motherfuckers, you know? Yeah. We talked a little bit about um, different tattoo ideas, but, uh, but yeah, let me know. What do you think? <laughs> All right, yeah. Like I said, some ill-ass shit, man. I'm going to, on stream, I'm going to take it to the chat. On, on stream and see yeah. what the fuck they want me to get. Yeah. So then I compiled like five ideas that they had and then I put a poll up. Right. And it, so the five ideas were, were was uh, Betty White for some reason. Right. <laughs> um, I mean, but that came from you or from them? From them. All, all these ideas are from them. Amazing. I had nothing okay. to do with these ideas. You I know mean, I get nobody can argue with Betty White. <laughs> right, so, yeah. right. So with Betty White, um, my cat Buttons. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> like, looking cat. I saw the pictures. Yeah, everybody loves Buttons. I don't fucking know why. Salacious Crumb, Jabba the Hutt's little fucking pet homie. Yeah. Uh, bar S Hot Dog. Okay. Specifically Bar S Hot Dog. Specifically Bar S Hot Dog. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I, I jock the fuck out of them. I, I talk about them a lot because they're fucking delicious and they're like a dollar for a pack. Yeah. yeah. And my, my show logo, the Shaggy show logo. Oh, yeah. So... Then were the five things, and then I held a poll yeah. between those five. Betty White won. Yeah. But then everybody's like, I'm like, let's see how many of these fucking ideas we can fit into one tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. You're the artist. Okay. You All know right. what I mean? We'll make it work. All right. This episode is sponsored by Skechers, the comfort technology company. I have a seven-year-old son, and the biggest mountain I climb every day is trying to put shoes on this child. And I'm so grateful to Skechers for supporting this podcast, but also for making the only shoes my son will willingly put on by himself. Their slip-ons are amazing. And uh, he doesn't have to deal with laces. He doesn't have to deal with anything. They come in the perfect color blue. And I mean, his closet looks like Batman's closet. It's just a row of 10 pairs of blue Skechers slip-ons because those shoes are the only reason I have ever made it to school on time. Anyway, thank you Skechers for everything. And you can find Skechers everywhere. Skechers.com, a Skechers store, or wherever stylish footwear is sold. Want to shop Walmart Black Friday deals first? Walmart Plus members get early access to our hottest deals. Join now and get 50% off a one-year annual membership. 
Shop Black Friday deals first with Walmart Plus. See terms at walmartplus.com. Hey. He's got a heart out in 45 minutes. So I have 45 minutes to I, I got to tell him that like pick two. Like like two things I can pull off. So he's like Betty White and buttons. Like those are the most important things. I guess I mean like is Betty White holding the cat? Like, is it, am I literally like her cat? I don't know, yeah. But like, I can't render a whole Golden Girls blouse in the next 37 minutes. Figure out how to combine those two concepts. And this is, this is, <laughs> this is my pitch. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Two versions, Betty White, you All know, right. like solid, we'll make that work. Or we could do Betty White oh, and Buttons. Oh, shit, let's go. Yeah? Betty White and Buttons, yeah, All right, man. all right. The stick man bodies, that's <laughs> fucking great. All right, Hell cool. Hell yeah, man. All right, I'm into it. I'll oh, make it work. Oh, shit, yeah, let's go. <laughs> all right, let me make a stencil, we'll put it on. Hey, you see this blank spot? It's about to be fucking, it's about to be fucking Betty Button-fied. <laughs> buttons White. <laughs> Hell yeah. So ridiculous. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I've done quite a few uh, ICP tattoos. There's always people coming in uh, wanting the, the clown design. Uh, my name's Brian Gujan. I'm getting a tattoo of uh, Riddlebox. I've done two tattoos in my life. One was a hatchet man with a stencil was already put on from one of my tattoo artists. Yeah. And the other one is a disgusting picture of a naked guy bending over, spreading his ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I freehanded. Right, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do one little spot. You ready? Mm-hmm. What do I say, man? You got like one of the lightest hands I've ever experienced. Well, we're not there. We're not done yet. <laughs> Give it a minute, but yeah. But you were saying now, like you feel like there's been a real shift in like the, the public around around you guys. Our industry like, like mega hated us and shit all over us. You know what I'm saying? A lot of those people aren't. They're either retired, dead, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. the younger people that are now running this shit, not only you know open-minded, but some of them used to be juggalos or yeah. still are, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like people from back in the day that used to be into our shit are now in more prominent positions, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like across the board, it's like uh, industry and the public, you know what I mean? And like I said, I think I think a lot of it also too is just the fact that, that we've been doing it so fucking long, you know? Like when you first put the paint on, was that like a like a, like a a Bruce Wayne becoming Batman moment? It becomes part of you, you become part of it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, it's just like, but when you do, like when you're on stage, it's kind of now it's just like you, but like amped up to like 15. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There is a freedom in creating an alter ego. Yeah, no question. You know, it it, it, it helps with everything, even in your private life. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I get recognized without my paint on, but not as much as I would. For sure. If yeah. I, you know what I'm saying, if I just did my actual face. And also, the people that recognize like my you are going to be the diehards. <laughs> yeah, you know. Exactly. You know, they yeah. recognize the tattoos, just the shape of your face. You know, whatever the fuck it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I mean, because when you put the paint on, you turn into a clown. You can fuck up. Yeah. You know, that's what the fuck clowns do. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? You fucking slip on a banana peel. Who yeah. gives a shit? We were always able to not be the cool motherfucker. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, if I fuck up, I fuck up. Whatever. Keep it moving. That's not like, oh, man, the end of my career. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I fell on stage. Oh, no. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? You fall on stage, you get back up, you fall again. Fucking, so what? You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, 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 and that's a beautiful thing with that, you know? But it's interesting how, like, you know, like when you guys started out, I feel like you guys caught flack for that, you know, whereas now it's like, it's such a rarity for someone to just be like, look, you might not like me, but I am what I am, right. you know? Well, as soon as we came out nationally, I don't know what happened, but motherfuckers authentically hated us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? From the jump. Were there specific events or, you know, things that happened where you're like, oh, that person really hates me? Like, it, like that's not just like, I don't like that flavor. Yeah, countless. <laughs> like, just give me an example. Shit. Just, yeah. just fucking not being able to play cities. 
You know what I'm saying? Really? Getting, being banned from cities. Fucking by like the city council. Radio by stations the... just telling you to fuck off for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just just fucking people picketing <laughs> at your yeah. concerts for no reason and shit. You know what I'm saying? Being blackballed from like the whole fucking MTV, VH, all that shit. Being blackballed from fucking any kind of award ceremonies and shit. Not even being yeah. able to enter the building. Yeah. You don't say, oh, it's ICB. No, they can't tell them they can't come in. Wow. Why? Because fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You know what I'm saying? And that was our career. Oh. And we were like, yeah, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> you love hating us. Yeah. We embraced it, though. You know what I'm saying? We are yeah. like, oh, fuck you. No, we were like, yeah, man, bring it. You know what I'm saying? They fucking hated the fact that we were walking the red carpet. Yeah. What do your parents think of ICP? They f- hate them, but f- I don't f- the Didn't like the FBI classify you guys as like a hate group or something? A gang. A gang. Like how so? In 2011, the FBI decided to put us on list of top 10 gangs in America and juggalos are on it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Top 10. Yeah. The fucking fallout and repercussions from it have been fucking devastating. Kids wearing an ICP or a Hatchet Man shirt, they treat him as a gang member. Yeah. It's like, come on, man. And that's actually, like, like Legit. in court, they can yes, charge you with gang activity. Motherfuckers wow. are losing their kid custody battles for their kids because they have a hatchet man tattoo. People wow. are being denied getting into the army, shit like that. It's, it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you get pinched for weed and yeah. you got a hatchet man tattoo, now the charges are getting bumped up because you're considered a gang member. Wow. Yeah, so it, it fucked a lot of shit up, man. It, it's... The thought of it is fucking, it's just fucking out of this world crazy, man. But yeah, we didn't even know how to handle none of that shit, man. Well, what we did was, is we took them to court, then it got thrown out. So we organized a march on Washington and we did a march on Washington, D.C., a juggalo march. That's wild though. I didn't even think about all the, the implications. When it first dropped and we first found out about it, we were like, oh, that's kind of dope. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's kind of badass, you know what I'm saying? Until right. the shit's done and they were like, yeah, that's, that's, that's not cool at all, man. Okay, I have to tell you, I was just looking on eBay where I go for all kinds of things I love and there it was. That hologram trading card. One of the rarest, the last one I needed for my set. Shiny like the... Designer handbag of my dreams. One of a kind. eBay had it, and now everyone's asking, ooh, where'd you get your... Windshield wipers. eBay has all the parts that fit my car. No more annoying. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful. Whatever you love, find it on eBay. eBay. Things people love. Gift the remarkable with Marc Jacobs fragrances this holiday season. From the iconic Daisy and Perfect to the all-new Daisy Wild, Marc Jacobs perfume gift sets include everything she needs to feel special. From her favorite fragrance, plus the matching travel spray, holiday gifts don't get much more perfect than this. So if you're looking for a gift inspiration these holidays, gift the remarkable with Marc Jacobs. People are scared to come to our shows. They think they're gonna right. get fucked up by juggalos or something crazy is gonna happen. That's not the fucking deal at all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I mean, I've seen it's the, just even, not the truth. It's just the, the reputation. You yeah. know what I'm saying? People won't go to the gathering of juggalos like, oh man, fuck no, come. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Motherfuckers love fucking turning people onto the juggalo. I mean, everybody world. I've heard that's gone to the gathering has been the same story. The same, where they're like nervous, I don't know what to expect, but like, I'm gonna bring my pepper spray and, you know, like, and. <laughs> And, and, uh, and then they get there. I love putting people on the juggalo culture. Yeah. I fucking love it. Because everybody's expecting the worst. They're like, what are you fucking, look at this shit. It's fucking beautiful. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You're doing these shows. Your community is, you know, as you said, like, can be unhinged at times. Like, it's a it's a very unconventional, like, lifestyle. And, and obviously, there's a lot of, like, drinking and drugs involved with that. Um, but you have five kids? Yeah. Five kids? Yeah. Five. Like how how was that navigating you know dad life and you know ICP life you know like like you've spoken a bit before about your journey with drinking and stuff like yeah. wh at what point did you realize that like oh this this lifestyle isn't sustainable? I guess it's any kind of fucking like alcoholic addict story. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You just get to a point where when that's all you're fucking doing and your whole life's going to shit. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Everything's collapsing around you. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, with my, my with my older, especially my sons, my my older sons, um, I I always I I, I feel kind of bad on some level because. I wasn't there for them like I was my younger kids now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because this was, I mean, I had them in 1996, you know, when I was 21. And that's right when our career started bubbling. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I wasn't, I was on the road so much. I wasn't an absent father, don't get me wrong. But I, I didn't see the milestones. I didn't see yeah. the first walks. I didn't fucking get to see a Did lot of feel- shit because we were on the road so much. We weren't on the road. We were in the studio or flying across doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now with my, my kids that are young now, it's I, I fucking love fucking family life and shit, though. I love fucking seeing my kids every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love watching them grow and I love being fucking teaching them and fucking, you know. Yeah. Giving them what I wasn't given as a kid. Of course, that's the ultimate goal of having kids is giving them what you didn't have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have a dad. I didn't have money. I didn't have the opportunity to do shit. You know what I'm saying? My kids are fucking soccer and basketball. You know what I'm saying? Just coming to the realization of all that now, you know what I'm saying? It puts everything in the back seat to me. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like drinking and fucking popping pills and all that. That's just, it's so far out of my league now because... That is my drug, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fucking life, you know what I'm saying? Good mental health, yeah. being sober, it's fucking, you know what I'm saying? Did you notice resentment from your older kids towards the younger kids, or was it just you noticing like, oh, like I, I wasn't there when that, my older kid learned how to ride the bike for the first time, like was it? I don't feel like there's like real resentment there at all. I've actually told them before, I'm like, look, I have no idea what it could have been like being in high school with me as a dad and shit like that, because they went to yeah. public school. They didn't go to no private shit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I was like, man, if... So everyone knows... That- if anything happened because of that, which I'm sure it did, yeah. I, man, I'm so fucking sorry for that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, because it's not like fucking... I was Ricky Martin and those were my kids, you know? Yeah. We were not fucking liked, loved nothing, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Motherfuckers hated us, you know what I'm saying? I love that you and Jay have been tight for so long yeah it's it's i mean at this point it's beyond friendship you know what i'm saying it's like yeah it's like you know it's beyond like family member you know what i mean it's just like our lives are so integrated for since we were kids you know what i mean yeah we've spent so many fucking years being tied together like in buses and just flying and yeah you know what i'm saying doing so much shit and that's why we're real lucky it's just the two of us you know what I'm saying? Because if it was more, it probably wouldn't have ended the same way. Yeah, I mean, so many bands have, like, internal other. conflicts and mm-hmm. stuff, yeah. Like, I do shit a certain way, he does shit a certain way, and we know how we do that, and we respect it, you know? Yeah. Bouncing all around and getting chucked on the floor and getting back up. Too dope landed on my ass, man. It was cool as hell, dude. The movement you guys led, sort of, was one of the early acknowledgments of like misfit culture you know it's it's like the 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 lunch table at the high in the high school cafeteria where all the weirdos sat yeah you were like hey guys like you matter you know what i mean like like come yeah, with that come hang out with us you matter and you just took like all the weirdo tables from every high school in america because and- that's the table that we sat at yeah you know what i mean if we were even in school that's the table that we would have sat at yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying we could, yeah, it was always, it was always like I said, we were scrubs, you know. We were, we were always the motherfuckers with pieced together bikes, with fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With fucking mismatched fucking shoes, with whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? With the fucking holes in our walls in our house, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'll never stop representing the misfit table. See, yeah. That's a great way to put it, by the way. Yeah. I'll always represent the misfit table, you know what I'm saying? Because that's all I know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't know the fucking the fucking football player, popular kid life. I don't know that, you know what I'm saying? I didn't yeah. go through that. I don't know the frat party life, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't, didn't experience it, don't know it. I know the misfit table. Yeah. I know what's up with that, you know what I'm saying? I know fucking waking up when the next class is in, not knowing where the fuck you're at, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's, that's to this so day, that's what, that's what I represent, yeah. yeah. All right there, sir. Check it out, see if we're still friends. <laughs> like Betty White and Buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Betty White, Buttons, love, <laughs> know Buttons, about bro. it. It's my cat, man. Buttons, Google them. <laughs> That's fucking dope. 
Hell yeah. That's the shit, man. Thank you I'm so really much. Oh, That's man. awesome, It's my man. pleasure. Thank you so much, oh, yeah, man. man. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you this now so you got it. The band, like the, this movement they created, their fan base was deemed by the federal government as a gang. When I heard that, it sounded like just this kind of like just spiteful little thing that the government did. But what I didn't realize is that like that changed people's lives. Like the people that I've tattooed that little juggalo hatchet man on, like, like if they get arrested, they're gang members as recognized by the federal government. Like that could make the difference between a misdemeanor and a felony. It could make the difference between them being able to vote and not being able to vote. It's basically like the government were saying like, hey, we want to do everything we can to like prevent the followers of this band from having a say in any local or, or federal government. Like that's fucking crazy. We could go through a list of things that I think the government got wrong. This would be a really long show. This episode is sponsored by Skechers, the comfort technology company. Thank you, Skechers, for everything. And you can find Skechers everywhere. Skechers.com, a Skechers store, or wherever stylish footwear is sold.